Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to set up Windows 10 so that you can actually add a picture password to your account when you log in. So how a picture password basically works is when you're logging into your computer, instead of manually typing in a password, you actually have the ability to draw with using your mouse or if you have a touch screen you're able to use your fingers or stylus to actually draw a combination onto the picture which will act as a password in its own right. So however you set it will become your new password. So basically here's how you do it. We're going to head into our settings menu and we're going to left click on settings. We're going to go underneath accounts then left click on sign in options and then on the bottom of this list here or actually not quite the bottom of the list but near the bottom it says picture password sign into Windows using a favorite photo left click on this add button right here so first you have to verify that this is your account you have to have administrator privileges in order to do this so I'm going to type in my password here so now we have some different options we can choose from in order to proceed and we can see that it's actually doing a little demonstration on the side here and if you read the description it says welcome to picture password picture password is a new way to help you protect your touchscreen PC you choose the picture and the gestures you use with it to create a password that's uniquely yours when you've chosen a picture you draw directly on the touchscreen to create a combination of circles straight lines and taps the size, position, and direction of your gestures become part of your picture password. So you notice, I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but I'm actually using a mouse. I'm not actually drawing this with a stylus on the computer. So you don't necessarily need to have a touchscreen PC in order to do this. So regardless, let's left click on choose a picture here. So with how copyright laws are nowadays, and I don't want to get in trouble, I actually spent just a little bit of time this morning really um, making a beautiful piece of artwork to use as our picture password and I've saved it to our desktop here so basically once we've selected the picture that we want to use we want to left click on use this picture and now at this point you set up your gestures you draw three gestures onto your picture you can use any combinations of circles straight lines and taps Remember the size, position, and the direction of your gestures and the order in which you make them become part of your picture's password. So now at this point you want to set up your gestures. So pick any three gestures on the image you want to do. So I'm going to just do three uh, simple gestures so I don't forget because <laughs> I'm afraid um, and I would be concerned for you guys too that make sure you remember or write down or do something that you can recall what gesture you set up here. And they always, as a last resort, you can always use your administrator password in order to get back in. So it's not the end of the world, but... So I'm just going to do a strike through like design here. So in order to confirm, you have to go back through it again. All right, congratulations, you've successfully created your picture password. Use it the next time you sign into Windows. So I'm going to left click on finish here. At this point, we close out of settings, and I'm going to restart our computer.
Okay, so we still have our lock screen here, but if we swipe it up, we see that we now have our picture password. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter it correctly the first time. I don't know if it just counted that as two or not, but we'll see. So you see it successfully logged me in. Well, now we're going to try and see what happens. Well, actually, I don't know where my mouse went. So now I'm just going to log into Windows. Okay, so I'm going to put the computer into sleep here, and then I'm going to try and wake it back up. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to incorrectly insert our password just to uh, show you guys that it's not the end of the world if you messed it up. So you can enter a password through here, or you could also use your picture password. So if I just click on the picture password first, and let's say I do some random things, it says the picture password is incorrect. At that point, you could enter your main computer password here, like normal, and then hit enter and you should be good to go. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you give somebody your normal password, your normal text character password, and you don't want to allow them to get back on your computer, don't think that creating a picture password will suddenly override your administrative password. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.